It was Mycroft. He smoothed things over and convinced the policeman not to press charges. The officer left and never returned. But we had to endure a serious talking to from my brother. Mycroft wasn't happy about the fact that we were arrested. It felt like he lectured us for hours. Did we give him something afterwards, Sherry? Oh, yes. Yes, now I remember. It was a letter. That's why we snuck into the house. Mycroft asked us to. He wasn't angry we stole, but that we got caught. Oh, that's right. It must have been only a couple of months after we moved to Cordona. Oh, the good old days. Whoa. How very odd. It appears that memory stood between me and the manor. It, it's as if my mind palace had seeped into the real world. This deserves further investigation. Perhaps there's more to discover inside. As long as there is a comfortable place to put my feet up, I'll be happy. Maybe a chaise long. Aha. In we go. A <laughs> chaise long? Very nice. You remember a series about Sherlock's traveling to the future and helping the police in time? Uh, I don't know. I don't recognize that, but let's not jump to conclusions that it was a fever dream. <laughs> Maybe it was a what do you call that? Uh, Shazam thing or something, you know? Yeah, no, it was cool. He's happy, or he was mad that he got caught. I mean, we think about the relationship, home, right? Sweet home, Sherry. Minecraft being much older than Sherlock, and I mean, honestly, the, the family business was basically sleuthing, right? So it would make sense he'd be mad he got caught versus mad that he did it. Auction notification. We've been instructed that a public auction will take place on the 20th of July at Stonewood Manor. All lots have been selected from the finest pieces of property owned by the Holmes family, and they have been evaluated by experts. Their authenticity is confirmed. And I was wondering why it's so empty in here. There may be a small chance that some of our property could be found among local traders' wares. It is well Hey, this is the luggage we brought from London, isn't it? Why is it here? Find furniture traders across the island to acquire items for your manor. Ooh, we gotta buy furniture now too? Okay, we definitely need money. Hey, this is the luggage we brought from London, isn't it? Okay, we're, you know what? I think we're gonna have to rob a bank. <laughs> I'm gonna, I might, yeah, we definitely need to do that. I do not want to be limited by money for this playthrough. News of Violet's death, 10th April, 1869. Tragedy at Stonewood Manor. Mrs. Violet Holmes, widow of Sigur Moreland Holmes, died unexpectedly in her home yesterday. She is survived by her two sons, aged 20 and 10. Holy crap, 10 year difference. Wow, that actually explains a lot. Though it is unclear if they will remain in Stonewood Manor, Mrs. Holmes purchased the property only a year ago. Despite their feeble constitution of body, so ravaged by, oh, oh, so ravaged by consumption, Mrs. Holmes was quickly welcomed into Cardona's elite. In her high vocation she had, in addition to the deep intuitions of a gifted woman, the strength of a man, the consciousness of a saint, and the wit of a satirist. A specialist in ancient objects, she became the authority on authenticity. Police conducted an investigation upon arrival at the manor, but have not released further details. The cause of her death is unknown. So it's the cause is not consumption. Something did happen that day, but no one can tell us the details. How can that be? Agreed. It's rather suspicious. Ew, cobwebs. Let's go walk on them. Aw, there's there spiders in there too? We need spiders with our cobwebs. This place is a mess. I guess this stuff didn't get sold. Looks like we can go in the back here. I just want to see what else is here first. The music got super somber here. So we need to buy furniture. Hmm. Another one. There must be something important behind it. I can feel it. So let's see what we got here. One of the first things I saw when entering this house as a child. It's like deja vu. Is that like deja Mycroft's vu? Umbrella, the only outgoing thing in his wardrobe. 
Another memory incoming, Sherry. Strange. I struggle to recall anything about the day we moved in. The only detail I'm sure of is that it was raining early that morning. Looks like we gotta pin it. You're all about the spiders and the spider webs? Nice, nice. Sherry is doing his best to blend in as a woman. There was always... There was always a hat on our stand, but I'm sure it did not belong to Mycroft. The gentleman caller, maybe? Our mother brought a slew of belongings with her. She refused to leave a single thing in London. Hmm. Mycroft had to spend the whole day dealing with it. She never planned to go back. Did she? Think the spiders know the answers? Mm -hmm. This trip was a challenge for our mother. I tried to help her. Do you feel it? Is it the air shimmering or is it my imagination? I mean, you literally are imagination. So, you know what I mean? Oh, we get to reenact. So here we go, folks. Let's see what we got here. That's probably Mycraft's hat, maybe? Mycraft's dealing with all the stuff. Helping mom up the stairs, maybe? Do I have imaginary friends? Aren't you all imaginary? I don't know, are you real? Are you like bots? Oh, how could, like, what the hell's going on here? What's your favorite breakfast? Do you prefer salty or sweet breakfast? Oh, wow, that is a great question. Hmm. I think I prefer salt. You're very real? Okay. So who else could have put the hat here? I mean, could this literally not be anything? Oh, this could be a different gentleman caller. I uh, let's see if this does it. You're not even trying. Oh, here we go. I wish I could concentrate. Mute our friend here. We're all just a fragment of your imagination. Ah. <laughs> so he's pointing here. Maybe he's pointing. What else could he be doing? You don't eat breakfast, but you would go sweet? Yeah, I, like, I'm not a big breakfast eater myself, Sky. Like, like, I'll have a granola bar, you know? And maybe a coffee. You're not real, you're magic? <laughs> That's clever. So maybe he... Like, who is this guy? I don't think that's... Well, I'm a little confused as to who this gentleman is. He looks a little too old to be... Hmm. You think the kids are right? Like over here? Or over here? Like, I'm not sure, like, hmm. I remember the day we first came here. Okay, like, so I had a scene like this yesterday and I was like, I don't even know the logic. So is there something in here that tells me this? Rather than just freaking guessing. Because that, that's what I want to understand. So here we go. Here is the arriving at Cardona. We arrived early in the morning. It was raining. We brought a lot of luggage with us. Our mother refused to leave it. Mycroft was busy dealing with it. The voyage had to be unchallenged. I tried to help her. Okay. There was always a hat on our coat stand, but it didn't belong to Mycroft. Someone else was a frequent visitor, a little gentleman caller, okay. So I think, uh, yeah, so Sherlock is definitely gonna be the stairs. Not whoever that is. There's like three people in this scene here. So this is definitely, 
Yeah, so the old guy has got to be the one with the hat. Exactly. So that's not correct. Gentleman caller is correct. And then this would be uh, Mycroft over here. I don't know if that... That's the old dude. Every time I'm saying Mycroft, it's Minecraft. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I keep thinking it, so... That should do it. Your neighbors will be told that Mrs. Holmes is suffering from tuberculosis. It is common to move closer to the sea in such cases. Thank you, Dr. Richter. No, Sherlock, step away from her. Upstairs, go to your room. Lean on me, mother. Take your time. Actually, I never heard her coughing. I remember now. So she didn't have consumption. She did not have consumption. Because that's the other word for tuberculosis, right? We arrived in the early morning of a rainy day. Sherry's mother was weak and unsteady. He tried to help her. Mycroft was... I keep thinking Lara Croft when I hear Mycroft. Lara, Lara sorry. Lara Croft. Lara Croft was very serious. <laughs> oh, God. Mycroft was very serious while dealing with the luggage. When he saw Sherlock trying to help his mother up, he commanded him to go upstairs to our room. The last person to arrive was the doctor, Otto Richter, who said that the neighbors will believe the violet has tuberculosis. Tuberculosis? Wow. Richard, that one. Sherry just realized that he never heard her coughing. Oh, okay, I just can't I take him dizzy. serious with this mustache. It's stuffy in here, isn't it? John, are you alright? I'll be okay in a minute. <clears throat> How about we, uh, find our room in the meantime why is John having issues he's not even real something or someone killed her yeah no there's definitely something sus going on here so which door did is it this one another one no. there must be something important behind it I can feel it Wait, I thought we just saw a door become available to us Murder! Red rum. Yeah, there's definitely something murderous about the situation. Guess it's upstairs then. What? Oh, it must have been a big painting here, right? I think our family portrait used to hang here. Uh, basically, uh, the character, wherever he disappeared to. You see, he's not. Oh, there he is. Let's see if he disappears again. He is a uh, figment of Sherlock's imagination. Childhood best friend, I guess. And we learned that within the first couple hours. I mean, when we were playing it, I was like, we'd be walking over here and then poof, John would turn up there. And then we would spin around over here and then poof, John would be over there. And I'm like, what the hell? Why is John like moving around like a ghost? And then we learn that he's a figment of Sherlock's imagination. I mean, you know, healthy for adults to have that, right? Nothing neurotic about that at all. <laughs> at see? This, it's like traveling 10 years into the past with a single step. Do you see what John just did? He like slurped himself up here. So he was doing that kind of crap. And we were like, what the hell? How did he do that? Truck looks like he's going to a pirate themed party. You know, there is a pirate hat. So we're going to have to now buy that. I mean, we're going to have to. Uh, why are the windows all boarded up? It's kind of weird. Robinson Crusoe. The only fiction book on my table. I can still hear my mother reading it to me. So many pleasant evenings were spent here with the Encyclopedia Americana. Really? <laughs> Interesting. What's that over there? John is trying to seduce us. Ooh, this is like a fancy looking key. This doorknob has a cross-shaped end. Too intricate to be merely a handle. You know what? That definitely looks like a key. Let's poke around and see if we can find any secrets. Coda, how are you doing? You just found me after so many years. Last game I watched of you was Nancy Drew Shadow of Water's Edge. Well, Coda, thank you for dropping in on Twitch. Good to 
hear you. Wait, are you saying my voice is different than it was like five years ago? Maybe it's the microphone. <laughs> or maybe it's me. Thank you for dropping by, Coda. Appreciate it. We're playing Sherlock Holmes. It's our cost. Oh, he maybe is trying to seduce us. Hello there, good sir. John looks like an ice cream man. And you know what? Just in honor of that comment, I think we have to maybe partake in a little bit of that. And I think we're gonna just shake things up with maybe a little of this. And I think it's time for us to put on our emo makeup. And then we need to put on the outfit that allows us to truly bring this to life. Look, now we're twinsies. We are the best of friends. <laughs> they look delish, do they not? Like, I would eat that kind of ice cream. Pink and blue, with a little tan over there. Yum. Hope, how are you doing? Good to have you dropping by. We're ice cream man, Sherlock ice cream. The first chemical laboratory I ever made. I almost miss its elegant simplicity. The kink is growing, right? You, you totally did. We are, our invisible friend and I are playing dress up. <laughs> and it's great. T form opening. Okay, so we'll put that in there. Nah, doesn't fit here. Let's see what's over here. Perfect match. Looks like we have a pipe too. Hmm. Interesting. Still has a faint odor of tobacco. One of the few things on this island that smell like home. Oh, I guess Sherlock hasn't started smoking yet. He's too young, right? Maybe. I mean, we haven't met Watson yet. My small yet. archive of crime clippings. Maybe I should pick up this habit again. Maybe. Made of cherry wood. Father's favorite. The pipe of Sigur Holmes. A small, straight smoking pipe made of cherry wood that belonged to Sherry's late father, Sigur Holmes. We had to hide it from Violet as she didn't know we stole it from his cabin in London. The wood is old, its surfaces worn from frequent use, but it had been well maintained. A faint scent, a faint scent of the tobacco lingers. I knew you'd find it in no time. Hidden treasure. Fair enough. Smoke pipe origin story. Exactly. We just unlocked it. Oh, look at this air balloon thing. Uh, oh, it reminds me of our neighbor. He had the same balloon in his yard, only bigger. Do you remember? Yes. We visited him several times while living here. I think we saw that out in the horizon when we were walking here. Playing Pokemon Scarlet and he ran into level 45 Pokemon. <laughs> Tanya, welcome on in. Cherry for Sherry, right? Ooh, I could go for some Cherry Pepsi. Or cherry coke. I don't know which is better. One of John's first pictures. I think this was supposed to be Mycroft. He really has improved his skills since then. One of John's first. One of John.